it's panda today i feel like doo-doo so i thought what better than to talk about pet peeves and things that make you feel like <laughs> i would say one of my top pet peeves are noisy eaters i think i must have some sort of sensory disorder or something i feel that certain sounds irk me way more than they would a normal person for instance chewing noises and loud eaters Oh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Talking with your mouth full. I feel like some people, like, eat their food and wait until they have a mouthful of food and then go to tell you something, and it's just like... People that breathe heavily while they eat. Oh, it's just... Oh, ugh. I think just thinking about it. Unnecessarily loud talkers. When you don't need to be shouting or raising your voice, and they're there in your face like this, and you're kind of just like... When you hold the door open for somebody, I have no problem holding the door open. I enjoy holding the door open for other people, actually, even if it means that I have to hold the door open for 20 other people, because that's usually what happens to me. But I enjoy it. it makes me feel good. When you hold the door open for somebody, and they don't even acknowledge you, you don't have to do that. You have things to do, but you decided, no, no, you know what? I'll hold the door open. And they don't even smile, nod, or say thank you. Come on now. When pedestrians take advantage of the crosswalk. Really bad drivers. I live in a big city. There are a lot of terrible drivers here. And I'm not just saying like bad drivers. I'm saying terrible drivers. So instead of road rage, I've come up with this thing that makes me feel better when I see someone do something terrible and then blame it on me or the person I'm with. You look at them, you smile, and you go, have a fucking good day! You fucking suck! And they have no idea what you're saying, and they think you're just being polite, so they're like this. When you go to take the milk for cereal or a smoothie, and there's literally this much milk left. Who leaves this much milk? What is this much milk good for? Why don't you just pour it in? I don't understand. When you're not having a good day, feeling down, and someone looks at you and goes, smile! Really? I'll smile if I want to, and right now I don't want to smile. Also, when you're feeling sad, whatever, you're not feeling happy, and someone tells you, just cheer up. I think I would if I could. When you're at a restaurant and someone is talking extremely loud on their cell phone, go outside. It's not that hard. Also, when they're talking extremely loud to the person they're with, not just having a regular conversation, but they want everyone to hear them so they talk like this. When people stare at you, not like, I know sometimes sometimes I zone out and I realize I'm staring at someone so I kind of like give a little sorry and smile. When people are just like, and then you have to kind of be like, when you run for the bus, literally running your socks off and the bus just goes past you. You saw me running. You saw me my arms why didn't you stop for me please and not just me I feel so bad when I see people like oh oh they're not gonna get it oh oh they're running the run and it's like they're in a marathon and they're just going so fast and the bus driver cannot wait that point one second and they just go man where people burp or fart and they don't say excuse me not like a stealth burp like it's like Bruh, that you can hear and they just don't do say anything when you throw something away and someone goes and takes it out. I put it in the trash for a reason. When you're in a public area, let's say on the bus or I don't know, somewhere where there's lots of people and you're reading something or texting someone and they're looking over you like, stop. Whoa, you have huge boobs. Did you know you have really big boobs? Did you know that you have a nose? <laughs> When you go into a store and the employees there completely ignore you and don't acknowledge you. Or when you go into a store and they're like vultures on your back. Ooh. When people that are older and younger than you speak down to you. Or when people that are older than you assume because you look younger that you are younger speak down and try to belittle you. Mm-mm. Not good. Feet. Sorry, Emery. But I have a foot phobia. When people rub their feet on me. Ooh. This thing, 
this isn't a pet peeve, but I can't see, I can't deal with anybody that does anything with their eyes. I can look at guts, I can't look at people doing, rubbing their eyes. Rubbing is okay, but when you see the little, like, skin part, hoo hoo when you don't respond to a text message right away and they just keep sending you the question mark or the same thing over and over until you do. When you're in the bathroom and you go to take that toilet paper and it rips off to one square and you realize that the person behind you could have restocked and refilled and they didn't, now you're screwed. When you go to put on your deodorant and the thing falls off. Oh man. When people make pet peeve videos. <laughs> Now I'm sure all of you have at least one pet peeve that you can share with me or that you can agree on with me here. So please let me know. Let's have a bonding session on things that make us go. And I am a really positive, upbeat person, I like to think. But just when you're feeling like I am today, sometimes you just gotta rant a little bit. Just gotta rant. Bye! Alright, we're talking about pet peeves today, which is very therapeutic for me because I've had a terrible fucking week and I'm I'm just happy to let off some steam. Um, I'm filming this on the webcam today. I hope you don't mind. I don't really have that many like deal breakup pet peeves or anything, but I do have a couple that are kind of like unforgivable sins. Number one, pretentious pseudo intellectuals. I experience this a lot because I am a philosophy student and it tends to be a syndrome that affects philosophy students uh, in particular for some reason. Um, it's where people in like undergraduate university courses use this really complicated convoluted language to try and impress people or to try and impress a lecturer when they're not really contributing anything meaningful to the discussion, like they're purely doing it to show off, you know, what book they're reading or like what, what terms they've learned. And it's just, it's wankery at its finest. Um, another thing that I can't stand is casual racism, casual sexism, casual homophobia, transphobia, etc. Um, quite often I find when people are in the comfort of their own homes, They'll say things like, oh, I'm not racist, but, or I'm not sexist, but, or I'm not homophobic, but, and they always say something homophobic, racist, sexist. And if you try to object or say anything in response, they generally say, oh, you're too politically correct, or I can say whatever I want in my own home. And <laughs> it's just like, I don't like being labeled politically correct, which is not necessarily a bad thing, by the way just because I'm a decent human being. So that is a major, major pet peeve of mine. And I don't like bad listeners. So people that only listen to you because they're waiting for their turn to speak. Um, for example, if you say, I've had a really bad day, you know, this really horrible thing's happened to me. And the person goes, yeah, yeah, that reminds me of something that happened in my life. And then they go on and talk about something that's happened to them for the rest of the conversation. It's just goes to show that a lot of people, I guess a lot of people uh, don't really care what you have to say. They're just waiting to talk about themselves. I think Panda did a pretty good job of um, coming up with pet peeves, but those are my three major ones. So pretentious intellectualism, um, casual racism, sexism, homophobia, and bad being a bad listener. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye. My pet peeve is people, they don't like dancing. How can you not like dancing? I feel like I should just finish the video now because it's just like full stop. How can you not like it? Dancing is the one time in my life anyway where I just let go and I just have fun and you don't think about anything else. And you don't even need to be drunk to dance. Just dance when you're sober is the... <sighs> People worry too much about what others think of them and I'm a big culprit for that one but luckily it doesn't infiltrate my love of dance. There's this thing that that people think that they're bad dancers and the only person that is a bad dancer is the person that doesn't want to dance but they're trying to. So they're like, 
I mean, it's good that you're trying to dance because we want everyone to dance, but you need to just go for it. You know, so they'll be like, just doing the wee. That's not dancing. Like, if you're dancing, you're doing this. But yeah, like, people think that you have to have, like, these amazing moves. Everyone thinks that, like, they've got to be, like, bloody Beyonce or bloody John Travolta or someone who is a good dancer. But to be a good dancer, you just have to be enthusiastic. I mean, some of the best dancers I've ever seen, by other people's standards, they'd be god-awful. I mean, like... I've, there, there, there was this guy once, and he was Polish. I'll never forget him. He was amazing. He could not speak a word of English. And we were at a party in a house, and he, he just, we weren't saying anything to each other because he didn't. Nobody knew what each other was saying. But then someone put on some music, and then the next minute, this guy is going for it, and he had no rhythm. He did not understand how to dance along to a beat, but he was just flailing about and the moves he was doing were amazing and I really, really admired him, really admired him and he was just having such a good time so we were just dancing and it was great fun. When you see people, when well, I'd be out dancing on a night out and you'll see someone who's going a bit mental, you know, with their moves and they're, they're being a bit flamboyant, especially guys. If you see a guy who's really into it, he's just giving it, doing all this stuff and like doing all that, and you'll see people that'll be like around the person and they'll be looking at them like that. They're clearly, you know what they're thinking. They're thinking, oh, check that guy out, he's an idiot. But I just, it puts such a smile on my face. It really makes my day. This is uh, this is supposed to be a pet peeve video, and I'm talking about how happy dancing makes me. I don't know what the fuck my problem is. But yeah, pet peeve, people that just don't appreciate dancing and then they judge you for dancing and they laugh at you in a bad way. You know, I don't mind people laughing at me when I'm dancing because I'm going a bit mental really, but just don't laugh at me in the way where you're like, <laughs> don't do that. Sort of related. Another pet peeve, the only thing that could compare to the dancing thing is um, people that don't appreciate disco music. I just, I, I'm getting angry now and I'm not even, I've not even brought, I've not even discussed why it makes me so annoyed but it really, really does. Okay. Let's go out there, plan a family tree.